Hi everybody, great that you're back. Winter time is swift time and today I like to show you a very easy and cheap way to get swift on the big screen. All you need to know is a um, uh, halfway up-to-date smartphone or tablet, Android tablet and a halfway um, yeah, new TV screen. Um, you see lots of things how to connect it via iOS, but you hardly see anything how you can connect it via Android. I do not like the Apple TV um, version because I have to buy an Apple TV. So if you do not have an Apple TV 4K, this might work for you. You have to have a fast Wi-Fi connection in your house. Both devices have to be locked in in the same Wi-Fi network. So if you have different routers in your house, make sure they're both locked in the same network. Then you select the source on your TV, which is um, screen mirroring here. And then you go to your settings and this is here, the wireless projection. It will search for the My TV, it already found it. So I tap on it and now it'll build up the connection between these two devices, this, which takes a little while. And here we are, Swift is on the big screen. Um, so if you connect these two devices, now I can see all my, um, my sensors. You have to make sure they are connected via Bluetooth because um, Android will not work via Ant Plus. So if you only have Ant Plus, you need to have a Bluetooth bridge. Uh, I recommend a 4i um, heart rate monitor for that, which is a very cheap solution. And then you also have a, um, a Bluetooth heart rate strap and a bridge in one piece. And so you could also connect Ant Plus devices via this heart strap to your TV. But now we just watch how it looks like on the big TV. I have to find another driver because I'm just hanging around the side. So let's see. Okay, here we go. So as you can see, it works pretty smooth. It's not chunky on my TV. So this is uh, for me a great budget solution. Of course, if you have an Apple TV 4K, um, the, the pictures are smoother and they don't have this um, this little you know here yeah, at the sidewalks and stuff like that but I think for me personally this is just fine I don't need anything else and let me show you another thing up here um, no he's not no, he's stopping right now. We have to find someone who is actually driving. Is everybody just standing at the sidewalk here? Okay, he's driving. So as you can see up here, it's a very, very small lag from sending it from the smartphone to the screen. So uh, it's not even a second difference here. So that works for me just great. And this is for me, a very very low budget solution to get Swift from my smartphone, Android smartphone, to the big TV screen. Have a look at it, try it out if it works for you. I like it that way. Thanks for watching and I see you next time. Bye bye.